Wolverhampton, a place in the middle of England. I'll give you five reasons not to move to Wolverhampton. Number five, no seaside. It's in the middle of England where everyone stops for a break to take a dump and travel to the desired location. There is nothing special about the place. There is no seaside, no beaches, no seals, no towers, no piers. You can't live life like that. Number four. It's next to Birmingham. It's next to the second biggest city in the UK and you get the best and the worst of the worst from this city. You can go there and work. People from Birmingham are moving to Wolverhampton and making the properties expensive. But you can't find work there, so it has its pros and cons. However, you get criminals that do drug deals here and the worst of these demons come from there and are making Wolverhampton a place of nightmares. It's my life. It's my life. Number three, sports. Let's be honest, all the Midland teams are rubbish. I mean Leicester winning the title, that was a fluke. It's not gonna happen again. At least they did it before Liverpool, who are an embarrassing team because of the resources they have. I feel sad for the local kids, who have to support one of those teams from the Midlands, as they all soak wind. Wolverhampton FC. When was the last time they won something? They never win anything. The colour of the jersey, orange and black, looks great. But the team is awful. No wonder they have a light show before some football matches, because everyone knows the team is useless. Number two, gardens. Who in the green hell likes to visit an English garden? Whitewick Manor and Garden. The name White is spelled wrong. It looks awful. There isn't a fruit tree in sight. They don't care about attractive trees. They like paving stones with a trimmed bush and pond that needs cleaning every time. Wasting taxpayers' money on that. We could generate so much wealth from having a theme park, perhaps. My God. Our senior citizen cost us so much money protecting these old, ugly buildings. The decor looks horrible. Look at the patterns. These old folks, they don't like paying money to save the heritage. And what's the point keeping it? Number one, culture. The city is not a cultural icon like Liverpool and Glasgow. It's an average city that has no heritage. Sometimes it hosts minor events to boost the city's income. But nobody cares when you got Birmingham next door and hosting events in Wolverhampton won't ever cut it. And uh, that's all folks. Give a like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.